Hey friends, I want to tell you a quick story about something that happened to me at Lowe's today. This is a good story, um, and uh, something that I'm really, ha really, really happy happened. Before I talk about that, though, um, unless you've been, you had your head buried in sand over the last, I don't know, couple of years, uh, we've seen an increase in the racism and hatred that um, people feel comfortable with exhibiting. Uh, just this past week. Uh, there's a 92-year-old uh, guy out in California that got uh, smashed in the face with a, a concrete block because he is from Mexico and some lady didn't want him here, told him to go back to where he was from. There was a guy, um, there, there was a, another lady down in, uh, in Florida from Puerto Rico who's wearing a Puerto Rican flag. She's celebrating the 4th of July as an American citizen. And uh, this guy came up and was hassling her and just giving her, just calling her all sorts of names. And it just feels like we, we, we've seen a lot more uh, people being real comfortable with racism. And if you're like me, that really bothers you. And uh, you're looking for something to do with, do about that. And uh, so I've been engaging with a lot of people online and then also in real life, just kind of uh, challenging their thinking. And doing it in, with love and kindness, but uh, saying, you know what, I got to draw a line in my sand, in the sand, and say that's not, not cool in my America. Um, this racism has got to stop. This, uh, these hateful words have got to stop. Uh, these are our brothers and sisters. They are our human family, and uh, they matter. And if we don't treat them with respect, um, and we can't be kind to our neighbors, then, I mean, what kind of society do we really live in? So, um, over the last couple of weeks, I've I really felt a lot of responsibility to be the change and to say something if I see something, and to let other people in the community know that I'm a safe person and let immigrants know that they are welcome here. Um, if you're like me, I I uh, my best friend in, in junior high and high school was from Korea. Um, I've lived with immigrants most of my life. My family um, immigrated here um, several generations back, but Immigrants are like essential part of America and I see and I'm hearing all this hateful rhetoric and it's really been bothering really been bothering me. So um, I don't know if you saw the last video that I made, but we're my wife and I made these shirts. There's no hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here um, just to kind of be a shining light in the community and uh, try to try to let other people know that, hey, there are safe people out there, that there are good people out there. Um, so that brings me to today's story, which I, which is awesome. I was out at Lowe's and I was wearing this shirt and uh, with all of the negativity that's been going on, I was unsure the kind of response that I would get. I didn't know if people were going to give me side eyes or are they going to, you know, what's the dude over there supporting immigrants? It's To me, it seems like a no-brainer. Why would you not? But I had four people come up to me today and say, dude, I love your shirt. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you're saying something. And the the joy in their eyes and the excitement in their eyes to know that there that there's allies out there. Let me know that hey, we're doing the right thing and uh, standing up and saying something and being visible in the community makes a difference. Um, I don't know if you have a lot of immigrant friends, but the people that are in my my groups um, are really concerned with all the violence and the hatred. They see the news, they experience it on a daily basis, and. Uh, I wanted to do something special for them, and I wanted to do something to let them know, hey, you know, America really may feel like we're going in the shitter, but uh, we still have a responsibility uh, to stand up and to do what's right, to live by our values, and so that's what I did today, and uh, four people came up to me and said something, and it put a big old smile on my face, and I put a big old smile on their face, so I wanted to share that with you and encourage you if you, um, to shine your light. You know, in, in some way, you know, whether whether it's getting one of these shirts, whether it's making your own shirt, whether it's getting out in the community, showing up at an event or a rally, um, or just like going out of the way to say something, to ask your 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 coworker, or your family member, um, you know, how are how are you doing? And just to to check in with them and connect with them, because at the end of the day, we're all humans. Uh, we all have a responsibility to each other, and. Uh, we're all the same, really. Like we all born, we all come from our, our moms, and and uh, we're all gonna die in the same six foot plot of earth. So, how we treat each other on this on this earth matters. And uh, if you're still here watching this, I know that you believe that to be true. I know that you're uh, you're here for a reason. I know that you're good people, and um, 
leave me a comment below and uh, let me know if, if there's anything that I can do to encourage you, if there's anything that you, you are doing that's making a difference in your community. Um, and let's share the wealth, share, share the love. Um, let other people know that, hey, you know, in spite of all of the negativity, there are good people out there. And uh, all we need to do is, is to shine our light. So um, these shirts are available for sale on our website, uh, mapletwig.com. Um, I'm actually in the process of getting some more states set up because we've had some interest from um, brothers and sisters that are out in California and New York and Texas and really all over the country. So I'm going to put some more of these shirts together. Um, check out our website, mapletwig.com. We're really trying to, to do something that uh, makes a, a positive impact in the world that helps Americans love again. And uh, we don't have to settle. We don't have to settle. So. If you're here and you're watching this, I'm glad you're here. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. You have a contribution and value that you need to add to the world. It's waiting for you. We need you. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this. Leave a comment below. Share this. Talk to you soon.